Hi folks, the battle you just witnessed, the detail on their armor, the folds on their clothing, believe it or not, every single piece was created with AI. YVO 3D is back and today we're pushing the limits of AI generated assets, creating entire sets of custom clothes and armor for metahumans. We're going to show you how a simple reference image can create assets so good. You can use them in a real time cinematic battle. So let's jump straight into the website itself. The link is in the description below. So be sure to check it out. Right now, YVO3D is still in its beta phase, but trust me, it's getting new features and upgraded all the time. You can check out their public gallery, which has a ton of cool 3D assets already generated with the tool. Some of these are even free to download, so you can test them out for yourself. What we want to do though is jump into the 3D AI workspace and generate some awesome assets for our project. As you can see, I've already generated a few parts of the samurai armor that we'll be using. Before we create a new piece, let's talk about the resolution options. We can generate our assets in 1K, 2K or 4K resolution. The 4K resolution actually has two different modes, fast 4K and real 4K. Fast 4K is perfect when you need a high resolution texture quickly as it prioritizes speed. Real 4K on the other hand takes a bit more time but it uses a more intensive process to generate a higher quality mesh and even more detailed textures, giving you the best possible result. A quick pro tip for generating complex assets like armor or clothing, it's better to go for it piece by piece. This way, the AI can focus on the intricate details of each part and you'll get a much better result overall. So to create our Samurai shirt, I will upload my reference image and click generate. You can see it's been added to jobs in queue. We can have up to 10 processes in the queue at once, so you can keep your workflow moving while the AI does its thing. Once the process is done, the asset is ready to be downloaded in GLB format. I've already got a separate video that shows you exactly how to import these assets into Unreal Engine without any extra steps. Be sure to check it out, the link is in the description. Once your jobs are done, you can jump straight in to check the results. As you can see, I've got some of my armor pieces here. Let's select the shirt and take a closer look at the level of detail. The mesh and textures are looking really clean. Once you're happy, it's just a matter of downloading the files. Now that we're done generating our assets, it's time to rig them to our metahuman body. There are a couple of ways to do this. For example, you can use Blender and bring in your metahuman body and the armor pieces. Then you simply feed the pieces to the body, transfer the skeleton data and do some weight painting to get it just right. There are some really cool tutorials out there on this approach and I'll make sure to add a link for you in the description. But thanks to Unreal Engine 5.6's brand new integrated MetaHuman plugin, we can do all of this directly inside Unreal itself. I'm definitely going to try this approach for our final project. But before we dive in, I want to give a huge shout out to the Nova Effectus YouTube channel. This fantastic approach to rigging within Unreal is inspired by his work. So a special thanks to you, buddy. I'll be sure to leave a link to his full tutorial in the description so you guys can check it out. Okay, now we're in Unreal Engine 5.6. I've exported my MetaHumans combined skeleton mesh. And in the content browser, I have my Samurai shirt that was generated by YVO 3D. Of course, some sculpting is necessary to perfectly fit this mesh to the body, but Noah has done this step in his video, so we'll skip it for now. The first thing we need to do is create a skeleton mesh for our shirt. So I will right click on the shirt, go to a create skeleton mesh, and this is the important part. I'll make sure the creation type is set to use existing skeleton mesh. From there, I'll select my MetaHumans combined skeleton mesh. This tells Unreal to attach our new shirt mesh to the MetaHuman's bone structure, which is the key to making it move with the character. Now if you try to rotate the bones on our MetaHuman's skeleton, you can see that the shirt just sits there. It's stable, but it's not actually moving with the body. That's because we still need to transfer the weight data 
from the MetaHuman's body to our new shirt mesh. So I'll head over to the edit weight section. From here, I will select our MetaHuman's combined skeletal mesh as the source and then simply click the transfer weight option. With that simple click, our shirt is now fully rigged to the MetaHuman skeletal mesh. Now, before we create the cloth assets, make sure that the Chaos Cloth and Outfit Asset plugins are enabled. With those active, we're ready to go. I'm going to create a new cloth asset. After renaming it, I'll head over to the editor. The first thing I'll do is remove all the existing nodes. Then I'll add a skeleton mesh import node. And in this node, I will select my Samurai Shirt's skeleton mesh. Once that's done, I will connect this node to a cloth asset terminal node. When that's connected, I will save and close this window. Next, I'm gonna create an outfit asset and open it up. The important thing here is to select the resizable outfit option. Once inside, in the data flow panel, I will add a new source. From there, I will select my shirt cloth asset as the source and the combined metahuman mesh as the source body. And we're done with this part. The final step is to create a metahuman wardrobe item. I'll open it up and assign my new outfit asset to the principal asset slot. Then I will select metahuman outfit as my pipeline and finally select the metahuman outfit editor as my editor pipeline. Okay guys, we're done. Let's head over to the MetaHuman plugin. What I'm gonna do now is simply drag my wardrobe item to the outfit clothing section. Just like that, I can now assign my AI generated meshes as clothing items to my MetaHuman. As I mentioned before, some sculpting steps are necessary at first to perfectly fit the mesh to the body, but you can see that this works perfectly. And here's the cool part. As we change our body proportions, the outfit asset will change simultaneously, adapting perfectly to the any metahuman we choose. After we're done with our clothing, it was time to bring everything together. I went into the metahuman plugin to finalize my characters, then built out the environment with a Japanese inspired temple backdrop. All before finalized my cameras and sculpting the scene with light. I tested various lighting scenarios to capture that perfect, dramatic atmosphere for our cinematic shot. And of course, some parts of the armor like the helmet and the shoulder shield didn't need the complex outfit system. For these rigid pieces, a simple parent constraint was all we needed. I attached the helmet directly to the head bone and the shoulder shields to the clavicle and upper arm bones. This method is perfect because it ensures those solid pieces are always perfectly aligned and in the right place, no matter how explosive the motion is in an animation. The main focus of this video though was not just to show you a final render, it was to explore a brand new workflow for you guys to create your own characters and outfits. This entire process from idea to final animation bypasses hundreds of hours of manual modeling, UV unwrapping, and retopology. It's a complete paradigm shift. This is about giving you the creative power to focus on storytelling and design and letting AI handle the tedious technical work. The future of 3D asset creation is here and it's fast, efficient, and surprisingly simple. And there you have it from a simple reference image to a fully rigged and animated character, all powered by AI. This workflow completely changes the game for creating custom clothing and armor in minutes, not days. We've pushed the boundaries of what's possible with this incredible technology. A massive thank you to the team at YVO3D for giving me the opportunity to showcase this groundbreaking tool. You can now get your hands on it yourself head over to their website and check it out. The link is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content on the future of 3D and Unreal Engine. And let me know in the comments what you thought of this workflow. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.